AITA for telling my friend's dad my mom returned everything he got me for store credit for herself. So last year my mom married Mark and we moved to a new state. We have a three-bedroom house. My mom and Mark have one room. Mark's daughter Lily, 10, has her own room and I, 13F, share with my brothers, 16, 18 and 22. Mark doesn't want my mom to work but he also doesn't give her money for us because that's our dad's job so I was kinda on my own to get anything I needed. A guy at my school noticed I don't have a lunch most of the time so he started bringing extra food. For me then I started going to his house after school. They've been really nice to me. They take me out with them and they got me pair of shoes because mine were too small. They went all out for me for Christmas. I got two pairs of boots and another two pairs of shoes. Six pairs of jeans. Four leggings. Like 20 shirts. Two jackets. A raincoat. Rain boots. Umbrella. New backpack and water bottle and even hair stuff and some makeup. They also got me glasses but that wasn't really a Christmas present. My mom took everything back for store credit and she used it to get herself stuff. My friend's dad picked me up the day after Christmas to take me to camp. He signed me and my friend up for cooking camp during winter break. And I told him what happened. He called CPS and they came to camp to talk to me a couple days later then they came to the house. And now I'm staying with my friend and his dad. He reordered everything he got me plus he had me go into Target and some other stores to get a couple things until everything gets here but my mom is really mad that I told him and she's saying. I got her in a lot of trouble so I wanted to know if I was wrong for telling him that she returned. Everything. You are NTA. You are not wrong. Parents take care of their kids. That's our job and our privilege to do. I'm so sorry op but your mom and your stepdad were mistreating you and neglecting you. Your friend's family was able to see this and I'm so glad they got CPS involved. NTA let me say it again none of this is your fault. Your mother had no right to take your things. They weren't hers. I'm sorry you're in this situation. You don't have great parents. You did not get her in trouble. Her poor decisions got her in trouble. Did she not think that your friend's dad wouldn't notice that you were never wearing the stuff? Bought you? Even if you had not told him he would have asked about it sooner or later. And where is your dad in all of this? Does he keep in touch? And ask you about what you need? NTA. Your mom stole from you. She got herself in trouble. You did the exact right thing telling them what happened to the things they bought you. Your mom is being selfish by trying to convince you that you were wrong to say anything because you. Keeping quiet is good for her. You're not wrong your mother is lying about you being wrong to manipulate you. You are 13. You do not have the power to get her into trouble her troubles are all things she did herself. It is not likely even stealing from you that got her in the most trouble. It is likely that once she drew attention to herself people started noticing other things she was not taking care of. You had shoes too small. Strike 1. Needed glasses. Strike 2. Went to school with no food. One strike per day someone else fed you. You are a girl sharing a bedroom with a 22-year-old who is male as well as two other teenage boys. While he gives his own daughter who is nearer your age a whole room to herself. CPS will hate that. Nothing you said caused her troubles. She did, the truth did. Mark doesn't want my mom to work but he also doesn't give her money for us. Someone get red flag guy on the line. Four of you share one bedroom. You go without lunch. And your stepdad doesn't want your mom to work to provide for you but refuses to do so. Mark's an A.H. Your mom's an A.H. for marrying him. But also possibly a victim. I'm so glad your friend's dad is looking out for you. N.T.A. N.T.A. 
Your friend's family bought you a wide range of basically essential things. They could see you didn't have food for lunch or clothes to wear and covered it. Then your mom sold your stuff, refunded for cash, and bought her own stuff. She literally took the clothes off your back to buy herself stuff. And it was stuff I assume you probably needed. Moms don't do this. Moms go without a meal so their kids can eat. They eat the crusts and edges and only one piece of meat so their kids get the best they will go. Without a new jumper if it means their kids have got bloody shoes. Your mama, not feeding you lunch. B, not clothing you properly. And then C, taking from you to line herself. Is not the actions of a mom. CPS was called because you the walking. Talking epitome example of a middle class neglect where there is four kids in one bedroom and one in another where there's enough money in the house for food but some people not being fed where there's neglect and intentional non-support your mom herself may not realize she's in a financially abusive relationship but you you deserve protecting your friend's family can see this because they know what normal looks like what you are living is not normal but if you haven't ever been able to experience normal you might not know that. NTA. You deserve better. You deserve lunch every day. Shoes and jeans and boots. And for your stuff to be yours. NTA. I freaked out when you said you had to share a bedroom with a male teenager and two men. Glad you got out of there. And you have support. NTA. Op. You did absolutely nothing wrong. You deserve love. You deserve safety. And you deserve to be cared for. Your parents and stepdad are failing to provide for you. To the point of neglect. And possibly abuse. That is their choice. None of this is on you. Bless that boy for befriending you. And his family for giving you a safe haven. And for raising their son right. I am so, so glad to hear you have these people in your life. NTA How does your mom justify her four kids in one room while her stepdaughter gets her own room? Plus returning your gifts and buying herself things is straight up stealing. NTA In any way. Being forced to room with your brothers? And his daughter gets her own room? What other family options do you have? NTA Your mom got herself into any trouble she is in as I'm sure you have noticed in the responses to your post. This isn't a normal situation that you are in. This is in regard to your sharing a room with three males and the dynamic that seems to exist between your mom and her husband. Do you get along with Lily? NTA. Please tell yourself over and over again that you did the right thing. Your mom is in big trouble. Not just because of the gifts thing. Look at your sleeping arrangements. Where I live, members of the opposite sex are not allowed to room together after a certain age. Certainly not a 13-year-old in a room full of males aged 16 and up. No I am not insinuating anything or that op is in any imminent saw danger. This is just a point I'm making as to why CPS may be more involved. I am glad you have someone looking out for you op. Mom is most likely misdirecting her anger at herself unto you. She effed around. She failed. She got found out. Again NTA and you did the right thing. You are NTA. Your mom has challenges but this is not the way. She didn't just steal from you she stole from your friend's parent. Your friend's parents are amazing. Red heart. Up. Ah. I am so glad that you are getting out of a bad situation. Wondering. If there are any females in your friend's house or just your friend and his father. Your mom was wrong for doing what she did. The fact that she blames you for her bad behavior is icing on the cake. She sounds like a narcissist. NTA. Your mother got in trouble for being a thief and for not providing your basic needs like food, clothing and an appropriate place to sleep. Can you go and live with your father? 
Does he know how badly you are being mistreated? NTA I know it might be hard to hear this and I'm sure you feel conflicted but your mother is not a good person for the things that she has done and what she has put you through. Our raised by narcissists is a good group for taking about having narcissistic parents in the book. Toxic parents. Escaping their hurtful legacy is also a good read. It is a parent's job to provide their child with food water shelter and clothing at bare minimum. And as a teenager you deserve privacy and not having to share a room with male adult siblings. Do not feel guilty or bad even though I know having a parent like that they will try to gaslight you and make you feel like you've done something wrong but the truth is if exposing someone's bad behavior makes them look bad the problem isn't you exposing it. The problem is them doing something so horrible in the first place. And over time you will learn the more time you spend away from her if someone's absence gives you peace you didn't really lose them. NTA. And your mother is a. Let's go with not good person. It breaks my heart that your mom does this and I don't understand it. I remember a few years ago I knew this girl whose mother did the same thing. When she graduated we all. She was sort old a friend of a very old friend of mine. Long story. Had to make sure that anything we got her wa personalized in some way so her mother couldn't return it or try to sell it. I hadn't know this before and had gotten her just regular gifts. Finding out that those presents had likely been sold for whatever her mom used them for was extremely upsetting. Your friend obviously care about you. Don't feel bad about telling them the truth. NTA but I have questions. How did your mom return, exchange the stuff for credit without the original receipt and card it was purchased on? Or maybe it was cash but still she shouldn't have even been able to return it. Why the hell is a 13 yo girl sharing a room with three boys? That's just not right. You are NTA. Your step is abusive and your mother should have intervened to prevent it. She didn't. Which makes her as guilty as him. Your friend's family are kind and generous and did what adults are required to do by informing CPS. I hope you encounter more people like them. NTA. So your stepsister who is younger than you has her own room but you had to share with your brothers. Exclamation mark. You poor thing. Your mother sounds awful. I'm so glad you have got your friend and dad. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.